a Lancaster drops first window to disrupt enemy radar, then a 4,000-pound blockbuster bomb and an incendiary bombs during Operation Hurricane against Duisburg. On 14 October 15, 1944 a blockbuster bomb or cookie was any of several of the largest conventional bombs used in World War II by the Royal Air Force. The term blockbuster was originally a name coined by the press and referred to a bomb which had enough explosive power to destroy an entire street or large building through the effects of blast in conjunction with incendiary bombs. Diagram of a 4,000 pounds HC Mark I bomb standard American and M56 4,000 pounds general purpose bomb The bombs then called blockbusters were the RAF's HC bombs. These bombs had especially thin casings that allowed them to contain approximately three quarters of their weight in explosive, with a 4,000 pounds bomb containing about 3,000 pounds of explosive. Most general purpose bombs, termed medium capacity by the RAF, contained 50% explosive by weight, the rest being made up of the fragmentation casing. Larger blockbusters were made later in the war, from the original 4,000 pounds version, up to 12,000 pounds. The 4,000 pounds high capacity Mark I bomb, actual weight around 3,930 pounds, was a welded, cylindrical shell of zero. 31 in thick steel. The body of the bomb was 30 in in diameter and 88 in long. The nose of the bomb was conical and a 27 in long lightweight, empty cylindrical tail with a closed end was fitted, for a total overall length of 115 in. A T-section steel beam was welded to the inner surface of the bomb to strengthen it. Subsequent Mark II and Mark III HC bombs differed in detail, the conical nose was replaced with a dome nose and the number of fuses was increased from 1 to 3 to guarantee detonation. The Mark IV bomb did not have the T-section beam and the Mark V and Mark V bombs were versions manufactured in the United States. The larger 8,000 pounds bomb was constructed from two 4,000 pound sections, of a larger 38 in diameter, that fitted together with bolts. A 12,000 pounds version was created by adding a third 4,000 pound section and should not be confused with the 12,000 pounds tallboy ground penetrating earthquake bomb. The 4,000 pound high capacity design was little more than a cylinder full of explosives, it was unaerodynamic and did not have fins. By comparison, the similar American 4,000 pound LC bomb and M56 bomb was aerodynamically designed as other US bombs were, with a sheet metal tail fin assembly and shaped nose and aft sections. When fitted with a conical nose piece and a drum tail, the 1,800 kg British blockbuster bomb fell straight down. These bombs were designed for their blast effect, to cause damage to buildings, specifically to blow roof tiles off, so that the small 4 pounds incendiary bombs could reach the building interiors. In contrast to the American and M56 ordnance, the cylindrical HC-class British design high-capacity bombs were used only by the RAF, which was the only air force with bombers with bomb bays large enough to hold them. In 1947 Alfred Cecil Brooks of Stourbridge was appointed a member of the Order of the British Empire, for creating the blockbuster, although his citation was worded outstanding services to the king of a nature that cannot be revealed. The local newspaper referred to him as Blockbuster Brooks. 57 Squadron Avro Lancaster with the usual area bombing load of a 4,000 pounds bomb and 12 small bomb containers, each filled with 4 pounds incendiary bombs the first type of aircraft to carry 4,000 pounds bombs operationally. Was the Wellington during a strike on Emden in April 1941, carriage of the bomb required the bomb beam to be removed from the bomb bay and a slot cut in the bomb doors, the bomb protruded slightly through this end. On release, simply fell out through the hole. The bomb later became part of the standard bomb load of the RAF's heavy night bombers, as well as that of the Mosquitoes of the Light Night Strike Force, whose aircraft would sometimes bomb Berlin twice in one night, flown by two different crews. The 2,000 pounds HC was used until the end of the war, use peaked in 1944 with over 16,000 dropped the 8,000 pounds and the 12,000 pounds could be carried only by the Avro Lancaster which needed to be slightly modified with bulged bomb bay doors. A 4,000 pounds HC bomb marked Happy Christmas Adolf being loaded onto a de Havilland Mosquito of No. 128 Squadron RAF The first use of the 8,000 pounds HC was by 15 Squadron Lancasters against Berlin on December 2, 1943. Bad weather and other factors meant their effectiveness was not noted. The 4,000 pounds cookie was regarded as a particularly dangerous load to carry. Due to the airflow over the detonating pistols fitted in the nose, it would often explode even if dropped in a supposedly safe unarmed state. The safety height above ground for dropping the cookie was 6,000 feet, any lower in the dropping aircraft risk being damaged by the explosion's atmospheric shockwave, 
We were flying at 6. feet which was the minimum height to drop the 4,000 pounder. We dropped it in the middle of town, Koblenz, which gave the aircraft a hell of a belt, lifted it up and blew an escape hatch from out of the top. Jack Murray, pilot of G for George, reporting on G for George's mission on 17th of April 1943. 617 Squadron developed a technique of dropping a 1,000 pounds MC bomb just before a 12,000 pounds HC bomb. The shock wave from the 1,000 pounds explosion fired the pistols on the 12. LB bomb to give an airburst. This technique was used successfully in attacks including the Michelin factory at Claremont Ferrand in March 1944. Disposal of a 4,000 pounds blockbuster bomb dropped by the RAF during World War II. Found in the Rhine near Koblenz, December 4, 2011. An unusual dry period led to low river levels in the Rhine in December 2011, exposing a 4,000 pounds HC bomb in the riverbed near Koblenz. A radius of 2 kilometers around the bomb site was evacuated while the bomb was diffused. Another unexploded blockbuster was found in Dortmund in November 2013, requiring the evacuation of more than 20,000 people from the area. Other bombs were found and diffused in Vicenza on April 29, 2001 and April 25, 2014. In 2001, diffusing operations required the evacuation of 70,000 within a radius of 3 kilometers, while in 2014 diffusing operations required the evacuation of 30,000 within a radius of 2. 5 kilometers. On December 19, 2016, a British bomb identified as a 4,000 pounds HC blockbuster was discovered in Augsburg, Germany. It was diffused on Christmas Day, requiring evacuation of more than 54,000 people within a radius of 1. 5 kilometers. On August 29, 2017, another British HC-4000 bomb was discovered during construction work near the Gouda University in Frankfurt, requiring the evacuation of approximately 65,000 people within a radius of 1. 5 kilometers. This was the largest evacuation in Germany since the Second World War. On April 8, 2018, an HC-4000 bomb was discovered during gardening jobs in Paderborn, near the local university, leading to the evacuation of 26,400 people while the bomb was diffused. British HC bombs shown together for comparison with 1,000 pounds and 500 pounds medium capacity bombs design of a 2,000 pounds to meet requirements of similar size. To existing 1,900 pound GP bomb was by Vickers with parachute arrangements by the RAF, this was at the same time Woolwich was designing the 4,000 pounds bomb. Actual case construction was by Great Western Railway Company. Live tests began at start of 1941, a few were used operationally in late 1941 with parachute dropping and delay timer. The parachute requirement was dropped and from early 1942 they were used with conventional tail. Improved Mark II and Mark III followed in 1943. Actual weight was 1,723 pounds for Mark II and III with 71% charge to weight filling of 60-40 or 50-50 Amatol, RDX TNT 6040, or Torpex II. Filling was Amatol, RDX slash TNT, NIL, or Torpex. In 1943, 25,000 of these were used, this rose to 38,000 in 1944. In 1945 up to the end of the war a further 25,000 were used. Actual weight 7,860 pounds with charge to weight ration of 68%. Filling was Amatex 9 or Torpex 2. Bombs were produced from 1942 to 1945. Charge weight ratio of 80%. Filling was Amatex or Torpex. 170 were produced in the last two years of the war. A diffused German parachute mine in Glasgow, March 18, 1941 During the Blitz the Germans used naval mines dropped with parachutes as improvised blockbusters. Their fuse was triggered by the shock of landing, with a bomb exploding after a 17-second delay. As the bomb was not in a crater, the force of the blast would disperse laterally, causing extensive damage. The large raid on Coventry on 14 November 15, 1940 included the use of 50 parachute naval mines, which caused extensive blast damage. The British called these devices air mines, a calc of the German term Luftmine. These types were used also during air raids on Malta, especially on its harbour areas. Thanks for watching.